According to the CDC, vaccine numbers for kindergartners in the U.S. decreased last year for all reported vaccines. In an effort to educate more children about the importance of vaccines, students from Penn State hosted a vaccine field day today. Our Leanna Wells says they use funny games to get their message across. It's not like getting poked with a needle. So I, I think that associating fun things with vaccinations can only help them. Patrick Applegate is one of many parents who attended Sunday's vaccine field day. He has a six-year-old who attends Easterly Parkway Elementary School and another child who's almost two years old. I think everybody should get vaccinated. It's, it's one of the best public health measures that we have so that we as a community can all be protected from diseases that we don't need to get. Penn State students in the healthcare field organized the field day to target children from grades three through eight. It stemmed from a project they proposed at a diversity in healthcare conference in the spring of last year. We put together our plan for the event. And so they reviewed all the plans that they got from a bunch of different teams that went to the conference and our solution ended up winning and we got around $3,000 worth of funding. I've always been really passionate about medicine, especially in underserved populations, and just promoting diversity in healthcare in general. Jennifer Money was another parent at the field day. She says while vaccinations are important, there's misinformation on both sides, and it's up to parents to educate themselves on the truth. I think it's really important that people know the truth, and one way you can do that is by looking up the package inserts online. You can look up the inserts for each vaccination. At the end of the event, everyone leaves with some new information learned and a voucher. We give up them out to each parent and children that come so that they, the whole family can get vaccinated. Um, and also, yes, if students, we have extras, so if students come and the volunteers can also have some as well. Reporting in State College, Leanna Wells, WTAJ News.